questions here or uh, some projects it will come like a uh, file to file or maybe like uh, some it will come from uh, uh, file to database so different type of source and targets okay so here connecting with the different data sources it will support from the multiple okay. data yeah. sources talent detail uh, uh like uh, mysql oracle uh, postgre sql mm. uh, and come to the aws side also it will support redshift okay uh so all the things we can do it here and one mm. five will be getting started with the uh, routines okay. and functions uh routine means it is a kind of uh, mm. pure java code we have to write here so it's not mandatory you should know the java programming language uh but it is uh, like mm. one of the features so we'll explain on that and from next is the mm. typecasting so typecasting means how we need to convert from um, one source to another for example your input is coming as a string but you want to convert to the integer or maybe a float so how we can do the typecasting uh, module 6 is the data transformations so data transformation is one of the core things here so what are the things we need to take care while doing the data transformations so what is the source and what is the destinations so what is the best uh, uh, options we need to use from the transformation side okay so all the things we'll cover here Module 7 will be the slowly changing dimension, CD type 1, type 2, and type 3, and real time ETL okay. projects. And from the overview of the talent ETL admin. So, what is a talent ETL okay. admin? What is the usage of how we can create and deploy the ETL jobs? And module 9 will be the basic okay. overall introduction about the talent big data components. Okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah you have any questions here? or? Uh, no, actually, I'm listening to all this for the first time. Uh, okay. So, like, yeah. So, so like, you like, you can give me both the training and support uh, together, like, right? Yes, yes. Uh, it, uh, maybe, like, uh, from yeah. your project, they're given uh, the uh, KT, right? So, what is the project, what is the source, and what is the destination, right? Yeah, okay. If they provided so like, uh, uh, what like, is the project? Uh, mm, yeah, good. What what is the yeah what is the project means like they, they haven't uh, tell me what the project is about. Just now recently two three days back I got uh, recruited into the company. Uh, it's okay. a banking sector, Standard Chartered Bank. Uh, okay. Uh, so like yeah, so I am not pretty sure what the part will be. They said the. Uh, you will be onboarded within a week like maybe around october 7th or 8th you will get the laptop in the meanwhile uh okay. first one week will be you are uh, like the, the, there won't be much work in the meanwhile the manager or the concerned authorities will let you know what 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 you should do what project you have to work on etc that's what they told okay. me that's it okay yeah okay yeah <clears throat> uh so uh you can see this is a talent etl tool okay uh, so the version here it is okay. we are using from the talent uh, big uh, talent data integration tools okay so talent has the okay. many products uh, talent big data talent data integrations talent cloud integrations and uh, talent data qualities so different type of products mm. we have so the super set of the product mm. always will be the talent big data only okay so okay. if you go to the about talent open studio uh, it will tell you that it is a, like talent big data uh, products okay so here we'll get all the components the 7.0.1 the current version will be a 7.6.1 okay so we have the two different one will be the like uh, community edition and other will be the uh, enterprise editions we have the like some difference will be there the for the community edition and enterprise editions uh we'll explain and while uh, take up the training time okay right so now just i will go through the one simple example okay uh then you can ask if you have any doubts <clears throat> so first type i'm creating one ideal job uh here i'm mentioning the job name will be the okay So this is my uh, ETL job uh, design section, this area, okay? Here you will get all the components. Okay. Components means it's nothing but, uh, for example, maybe you are getting the requirement from, uh, you have to migrate one CSV file to database, okay? So mm -hmm. your source will be the always CSV file. What you have to do? You have to go okay. from the, you know, like uh, file components, okay? You can see, right? 
this is the file section file mm. category in the file category we have two uh, three sections input output and management input means mm. you are reading the file output means you are generating mm. the files management means mm. how you are going to handle the files maybe file you want to check or file copy or file delete something that is called as a management okay so let's take about the file uh, input delimiters here Okay, so here uh, I have the file. Uh, the file name is called as a like um, a bulk file example dot csv. Okay, mm -hmm. or maybe you can take up any files. That's not a problem. Uh, maybe like I will take up show you the sample files uh, somewhere. It will be. Okay. So we can take up uh, this file. Okay, this is a one Excel file. This is my input. Okay, you can see it will show as a T file input Excel. Right now I'm going to read the data from this. File. How we can do this? Uh, just for printing okay. purpose, I'm using the T logro component. Here, right click, connect it here. Okay and save so we will run the job it will read the uh, like uh, from the files line by line and just it will print into the uh, log row purpose means or just seeing the output into the console so that is the usage of the log row okay so the same file is not found here Okay, so you can see here, right? This is the one uh, component. It is called as a row generator. Okay, so it's considered okay. this is a like CSV file. Uh, I made is a like uh, just I need only the ten rows here. I'm click on the preview. Uh, it will just show the like a uh, number of output ten means ten records. It will show dynamically. It will generate. Uh, it is a random okay. data, so we don't want to like uh, use any CSV files anything here for the training purpose. I'm just explaining here. Okay. So I'm okay. reading the from here and printing the data to the T logro components. Okay. Right. Okay. So if I want to move like uh, all the, um, for example, um, I want to make it as ascending or something. Okay. For the data. Hmm. So I'm just using the first name. It will be like, um, it is not a number. It is alpha. I need ascending order. Okay. 
So again, I'm using the T log row component. I'm running the ETL job. Right. You can see T log row 1, T log row 2. Uh, this yeah. will compare the output. It is coming as a like a Miller, Martin, Kelvin, Herbert, Franklin. So, but you yes. can see it is coming as alphabetical order, right? Okay. Right. So, this is the kind of uh, transformations or maybe like a data manipulation. So, based on the requirement, uh, we are okay. using the talent ETL uh, tool itself. We are playing all the things. Okay. Okay. Ah. Yeah. Now, if I want to move the data to the like on my MySQL component or maybe the MySQL ah. database, uh, we can use okay. from the MySQL TDB output component. Yeah. Okay. So now I'm inserting the data to the uh, my database. Maybe like I say, already we have the database. Function on table, I'm just saying create the table if not exist in my database. Okay. Yeah. Let's run the job. So 10 record, it is showing like first name, it is data too long. Okay. Uh, you can see yeah. here it is, um, it is, this is the exceptions. Okay. Exception means it's throwing the sum error. It is not successfully inserted into the database. So what I need to do, I need to uh, change my schema. Like uh, here we did not declare the uh, data length. So that is the reason we are getting the issue. Okay. We need to increase the column size and all that. Yeah, yes. Okay, now record successfully inserted into the database. Okay. Uh, now I want to fetch my check in my database. Now we have the component, uh, we have the product discovered as MySQL workbench. So in the MySQL workbench, we can able to see the data, uh, it is successfully inserted or not, the backend database. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So this is like a small small yeah. Oh, in this in this MySQL uh, workbench data, we can see what we have done, right? Correct. Our data is successfully okay. moved to the database or not? Uh, okay. Database or not? Okay. okay. So what is the table name we mentioned here? Leo training. Leo training. Okay. So you can see. Yeah. And yes. Is there and the record is successfully inserted into here. Okay. Yeah. Right. Huh. Right. So this is one simple flow. 
okay so from uh, excel file to we migrate data into the database okay. so like this you will get the different different type of scenarios okay okay so basically